हेलो टीम वेलकम टू माई सेशन ऑन कॉफी विद प्रब एंड टुडे वी गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वन ऑफ द हॉट ट्रेंडिंग टॉपिक इज एडवर्सरी इमुलेशन वर्सेज एडवर्सरी सिमुलेशन आई हैव सीन लॉट ऑफ पीपल कन्फ्यूज बिटवीन दिस टॉपिक सो लेट मी आई थॉट लेट मी मेक अ शॉर्ट वीडियो ऑन दैट माई नेम इज प्रब नायर फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन यू कैन रेफर माई लिंक इन प्रोफाइल इफ यू न्यू टू माई चैनल डू सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकन टू मेक श्योर you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic so without wasting a time let's start with the first part thank you so before we going to discuss in detail about simulation versus emulation let's first understand the introduction of adversary see adversary is basically a negative word it mean you know a person who tried to attack the person who tried to break the system so that is basically called as a adversary okay so we thinking from attacker perspective and try to break the system try to assess the system just to check how secure is my system is it clear so organization basically prepare for a targeted attacks so example like we have website here this website is basically connect on the internet so it mean a user from a multiple location can able to access the website so we find one vulnerability in the website but we don't know how the threat going to exploit the vulnerability as a security professional it is easy for me to control the vulnerability because we know it is a vulnerability we can patch but what is a concern for me is what is a threat against that vulnerability that's something we can't control understood so that is why nowadays we are using this buzzword which is called as a adversary emulation and simulation so we basically think like attackers we think like a uh, uh, offensive people and try to attack the system and see how secure is my systems and here the technique that we are using to perform an attack is two type one is by using a custom approach one is basically using a known technique tactics and procedure okay what is technique what is tactic procedure there is a detailed video i have on a threat intel so you can check that so to assess the cyber security or assess the security posture of an organization we have to think like an attacker and through that we try to attack the system so that we can able to identify the weakness so we can able to build the solid defense so that is why we have now two type of assessment one is called as a adversary simulation and one is called as a adversary emulation so when we talking about adversary simulation simulation is basically a word mean mimic the behavior now example like we have a environment here okay in which we have website okay so we have a user who try to access the website so we will create a a complete copy of the same environment build the server copy and copy the server and then we basically have a hacker who try to hack so we are not performing something on my real system okay we basically performing something in the logical isolated environment so this is called simulated environment okay so same like what happen is we have a hacker here hacker try to hack my server so we'll thinking from a hacker perspective and try to hack my system so here but i am not a real hacker okay i'm thinking like a hacker but more from a defensive point of view so i am performing one simulated activity which is just like a hacker activity and try to hack the system and see whether how secure is my system so that is called as a simulation but emulation is completely copy of the attack technique example like there is a attacker he use one technique he use one tactics he use one procedure we try to replica same technique same tactics same procedure without doing any modification so simulation is basically like a just artificial but emulation is a artificial but a complete copy of the real attack pattern okay there is no change at least in a simulation we can do change okay okay so example port is open so we will we have a option to customize how to attack the system but in the emulation we mimic the same activity what is done by the attacker so that is the difference we have so in order to discuss in detail let's start with the first part so the first part we basically have a adversary simulation so adversary simulation is basically a broader process that involve the simulation of a potential adversarial behaviors during an attack on a organization system so it is more flexible and versatile what is the meaning so this is basically the web server we have okay okay 
So we have web server here. And there we have a user. So this user is basically just like a offensive guy attacker. So he first tried to scan the system example. Then he tried to penetrate into the system with the help of different exploits. So here he using a multiple type of exploits so that he can able to bypass the system. Okay, so scope of the technique, scope of the tactics and scope of the procedure is very dynamic here because we're giving a more freedom to the tester. Is it clear? But as I said, it is more like a simulated scenario. Okay, so the reason of performing such kind of a uh, test is basically want to know what can be the possible threat which can exploit my server. Okay, what can be the emerging threat by which I can able to protect my organization and in worst case, if any attack went successful, uh, we need to patch this immediately so that a real attacker should not be able to do the same technique and penetrate into the system. So the goal behind performing an adversary simulation is basically like testing the company, testing the infrastructure, testing the resource, how secure is my system. But pen testing is also does the same thing. Very good point. See, in penetration testing, the scope is fixed. In penetration testing, we are using a, uh, we decide what is the method we have to use. We decide what tools we have to use. We decide what exploit we have to use. But in an adversary simulation, it is more dynamic in nature. The base of this attack, we are using a known technique, tactics and procedure. But in that, we modify slightly. Okay, so if you go by the VAPT process, we, we basically start with the zero gathering information. We are using tool techniques and all that. Okay, so the mode of the PT is to just test the resiliency of the system and test how capable is the system to handle this attack. But in the adversary simulation, we already having a predefined attacks. Okay, I will refer the MITRE attack framework from where I get a visibility about what is the technique they have used for reconnaissance. So I will use the same technique. What is that exploit they have used to penetrate the Windows 2008 Linux? I'm using the same technique, but I will modify slightly. Okay, so that is why adversary simulation is more like an advanced behavior of the VAPT. Okay, but on the other side, adversary emulation is basically like you know in past there was a ransomware attack happen against a server and we already have a technique tactics and procedure so i want to make sure my systems my server should not impacted with the same attack so i'm going to use the same technique same tactics same procedure i'm not going to modify anything i'm going to replica the same technique tactic procedure which is used by hacker to hack my computer system, I will use the same technique, tactics and procedure to test my organization just to check how secure is my organization from such kind of an attack. So there is no flexibility we have in the adversary emulation. Everything is fixed. So that is a thin line difference we have. That's why emulation is all about mimic. So we're going to discuss the first part, which is called as an adversary simulation. So primary goal is to understand how well organization can detect, okay, or respond to mitigate the threat in a realistic scenario. Okay, so when offensive person or the red teamer is basically perform this activity, the, the purpose behind is that if they able to use any dynamic techniques and all that can SOC team, which is called blue team can able to block this, can blue team can respond this. And if this is happen successfully, where he was able to penetrate into firewall and all that, how soon the team can able to respond to the attack so that, you know, in the real attack, they know that, okay, this is the same time they will take. That's why it's called simulation. Otherwise, it's not a real attack which is done by hacker. It's the same kind of an attack, but it is a simulated scenario we have used and performed the attack just to understand can my SOC team can able to detect this and if they able to detect how soon they can able to respond this and what is the maximum limited, sorry, what is the minimum impact we can have from this particular event. Okay, so proactively we perform this particular activity. So red teamer in a simulation exercise have more latitude in choosing their methods and tool. Okay, they use a TTPs that effective regardless of whether they're associated with a known threat attack vectors. As I said, they have an option to choose multiple TTP. By end of the day, we just need to test the security of a system. Okay, and we also need to test whether my blue team have a capability to block that. So by this particular technique, we can able to demonstrate to the stakeholders that organizations are resilient against the cyber threats and it can be crucial aspect of maintaining a trust. Is it clear? So. The, we'll take a scenario here, okay, with the example. So outcome in this particular assessment is to provide the measure of the organization overall security posture and also highlighting a vulnerability gaps in detection and area of improvement. So let's have one case study. So that give you the better visibility. 
okay so we have a case study here so you get idea how to perform this activity so kf secure has recently implemented new online banking platform and they want to ensure the customer data is safe they can detect and respond to any potential breaches okay so i will follow the same attacker technique the first step is reconnaissance okay so here what happened red team basically start by gathering information about new online banking platform they look for the employee details technical documentations or any other information that might be publicly available so any point of time they find something very sensitive they notify immediately to the company guys this kind of information is available outside so we'll try our best from an attacker point of view we try to stop the attack in the reconnaissance phase itself but here from a red team perspective they use a social media they use google and try to find more and more information about the kf secure then the second step is basically called as a initial compromise so we use mostly spare phishing campaign spare phishing campaign sp sorry sp uh, ear spare phishing spare phishing is basically mean a targeted attack so i know there are the four employees are there they are the basically system administrators and they will have a more privilege so i found this details from linkedin and then i basically tried to send them an email okay with some script and all that so we have a user 1 we have a user 2 we have a user 3 we have a user 4 So here, what happen is, as a as a our red team person, we send a phishing email to all three four people. Now, when they click on the link, so there is a possibility it can create a reverse connection, and through that reverse connection, I will convince and I will try to install some kind of a Trojan tool in that system. So that is basically called as an initial compromise. So by using a spare phishing campaign, we target a few employees of the company, and hoping that someone will click on the malicious link, which give them the initial access. so that's something we are doing now after the gaining access system from there i want to have a access of the further network so here we have a network 1 and we have a network 2 here so i will able to hack successfully the system and from there with the help of local ip i will try to access the system of this so this is the concept called as a lateral movement and here as a red teamer i will try to check can i able to perform the lateral movement because once you inside they try to move laterally within the network and looking for more privilege command because our ultimate objective is to access the database containing a customer information details without being detected okay and the last part is basically called as a exfiltration where we try to extract the data from the organization within the local system so throughout this simulation the blue team we have a blue team okay which is called as a soc team okay so we have a blue team okay so at the bank secure try to detect and respond to the red team actions so after the exercise both team will basically come together for debrief and discuss about what went well and where the gaps was there and how to improve so this is a team called as a combination of blue and red which is called purple team so ultimate goal okay what went successful they will use the techniques they will tell the countermeasure and then again retest with the same technique so that is basically called as a adverse real simulation okay but it is not done by the actual hacker it is done by red team with the aspect of the hacker the second is basically called as a adversary emulation here the primary goal is to replicate the behavior of that adversary to understand how well the organization can detect respond and mitigate the threats that originate from the particular threat actor okay so as i said there was a company okay they already faced a ransomware attack and their ttp ttp publish in the mitre attack framework so i will use the same ttp and see is my organization is basically vulnerable for that or not so here it is more narrow focus and mimic the exact ttp of a specific adversary is it clear so we basically have a emulation exercise which is rooted in the realism okay that's something we are doing here and uh, we we it is primarily used for a particular threat intel only so if organization believe that it is a risk from a particular threat actor so adversary emulation basically helps to prepare for a specific threat okay and we also validate that particular threat okay so if if, if any organization has basically implemented defense based on a specific threat intel okay it can basically test the effectiveness of that function so that's something we are doing so we have a case study here okay so there's a company called uh, uh, let's consider this tech company called aspirants okay So intelligence report suggests that there's a nation state actor known as APT one two three has been targeting a tech companies. 
okay in attack from region aiming to steal the intellectual property so we are thinking okay so apt 123 is a group which targeting things so their case studies their information is already there on the website so i'm going to use the same technique and tactics and try to do that so first step is called as a reconnaissance so here what happened red team use the apt 123s okay start by gathering open source intelligent about the aspirants just the apt 123 did for the competitor they look for the employee details technical documentations and see is my company has same kind of vulnerability then the way the apt 123 gain access to my competitor same like apt i'll try to do the same thing okay so apt 123 is using the some particular track so red team will set up a fake website related to the popular tech conference and lure the aspirants employees so it is hoping to exploit the browser based vulnerability because that is how the competitor is doing then the third is basically called as a lateral movement so once they gain access they try to move laterally mimicking same like a apt 123 ttp procedure by exploiting a specific type of vulnerability and the objective is basically is to based on the apt past behavior is access and you know r and d server or we can able to steal the intellectual property and we try to extract the data so through this simulation aspirants blue team tried to detect and respond to the red team action and after the exercise the debrief occurred which discussed the success and failure of the defense against the emulated threats so i have seen lot of people get confused with the thin line difference so the thin line difference between these two are just give me a second so here you can see so when you talking about the uh, apt definition it mimic the ttp of a known threat actors but in the simulation we simulate the broader range but more modification is there objective of the uh, adversary you can say emulation is to replicate a specific threat but in the adversary simulation we have to identify vulnerability and test the defense the scope of the adversary emulation is narrow focus on the known threat whereas the adversary simulation focus is broader because we have more option to customize in the planning phase adversary emulation is based on a threat intel because we already have a threat information about that so we going to use same thing but in the adversary simulation we are creative and exploratory which is more like an advanced version of pen testing adversary emulation follow the predefined path they will not go beyond that they will basically adopt and based on the defense counterpart so outcome is to identify defense against the specific threat but in the simulation it provide a view of the vulnerability and defensive capability so do let me know how do you find this video and do let me know shall i more more videos on the offensive and defensive side apart from grc and if you still not subscribe to the channel do subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos because i'm here for you only guys so that is the only way you know it motivate me to make more content okay and do share your network if you find this content useful good day bye take care